Welcome to Sunshine Art and Drawing. I thought I would share this really strange kind of collectible thing that Woolworths is doing. They are giving away essentially every $30 you get a little plant. A lot of them are vegetables, but they are also herbs and flowers. And there's 24 of them to collect, I guess. They're kind of strange sort of idea for a collection, but you get a set of instructions, a little pot, a soil pellet, and you also get a little piece of paper with seeds in it. So you get more than a few, so there's usually a, a bunch um, between, you know, six and eight seeds. And they're all in the paper so they don't fall out or anything like that. And then you just need to place 50 mils of water on top of your little soil pellet and make sure to try and keep it on your little tray. And then the soil pellet expands. It expands roughly like 10 times its size. You get a huge amount of soil for that tiny little pellet. But it's actually pretty fun to watch them expand. And then once it's expanded all the way and absorbed all the water, you put um, about 90% of the soil into your little pot. And then you leave a little bit left over so that you can pop your seeds in and then pop a little bit on top. So give your soil a little bit of a massage just to make sure it's all absorbed. There's no hard bits, anything like that. And this is good for kids. They like to get their fingers into it. You can wear gloves if you don't like touching soil. It's fine. And then, yep, you fill it all the way up till it's about a centimeter from the top. And then you just flatten it out a little bit, but try not to compress the soil down. Lay in your little bit of paper, give that a little touch down so it gets nice and wet because the paper will break down and then the seeds will start to grow. And pop in the rest of your soil, collect it up. Now I'm using a yogurt tub lid for this because I figured why not just reuse something rather than, you know, using a plate or something. You can just grab this out of the recycling and then give it a rinse off and pop it back in the recycling when you're done. Good way to reuse an item. So you get the instructions with each kit, but you also get this little tab. And on the tab, there's a spot so you can write the date of when you planted it, so you can keep a bit of an eye on it. Now, I'm just trying to find a pen that will work on this because it's um that kind of like slightly waxy paper. But yeah, I found a pen that will work on it. And I'm just popping that date in so that I can stab that into my little pot right on the side there, and it's ready to grow. So we're gonna do all of the rest of them and we're gonna come back and check on them and I'll show you there. potted up. You want to find a sunny spot to pop them on, like a windowsill. I wouldn't recommend putting them outside if you've got native birds that like to fly around because they're literally going to peck the seeds out. That's what they do when they're pecking the ground. Pop them maybe on a bright windowsill that gets a good amount of sun each day. Now I'm going to be growing these over the next few weeks. So the next part of the video you should see is a little bit later and we'll see how they're going and whether they grow. One week later. So now we're back and this is seven days later. So here is the lettuce that is looking great. We've also got the thyme there and the chamomile and they're all growing slowly but surely. I've come back because now I've got eight more of them to plant. So I've sped this up a little bit just to help you out, but we're gonna see how we go. So I've got my little tray here. We're gonna pop them to the side 
and we're going to be planting a whole bunch more. We've also got some water here and I'm just showing you if you want to measure out water you can use a teaspoon or you can also use a straw by using a little bit of pressure with your fingertip on the end. We'll pick up a few drops of water so you can control how much water you pop in. Um, I would recommend about uh, two to three teaspoons of water each time you water them. You re they're really small, so you don't want to overwater them and they get sort of soggy, but you don't want to underwater them and they dry out. So here I'm making onions. Um, it sounds weird to say that, but yep, that's what I'm growing. I'm growing some onions. So here's our little soil pellet. It's just compressed soil, so we're going to make some more of these. And there's the ones that I grew before just popped off to the side so I can use the little tray and I definitely recommend yeah use some recycling to do this you can put teaspoons on at a time but you're gonna need a good amount of soil and um, when I first did this I just poured the soil into the little pot and that seemed to be enough water so if you want to be able to measure it that's enough it says 50 mils which would be two tablespoons and a teaspoon of water so if you wanted to measure it out you could so again, I'm just popping in the soil till almost to the top, pop in your little piece of paper with the seeds in it, and then put the rest of the soil on top. And it's pretty much the same process for every seed. There's no like different instructions for different kinds of seeds or different depths or anything like that. It's pretty much the same thing each time. Write the date on your little piece of card and pop it in. Now the little cards will get wet and soggy, but as long as you use something like a ballpoint pen or something like that, it should, it should stay. And it is pretty fun to watch that little soil pellet expand. Um, I'm speeding it up a bit because it's quite a slow process. Like the soil pellet probably takes 30 seconds to a minute to expand all the way. So that's why I've sped it up a bit, just so you don't have to wait. You can also rinse your fingers off in the water if they get a bit too dirty, which I did quite a few times as I was doing these ones. But in total, I now have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten plants. And out of those, the first three that I got were chamomile, thyme, and lettuce. And the next ones that I'm doing right now are onion, radish, parsley, tomato, beetroot, dill, and spinach. And the duplicate one that I got was chamomile again. So I haven't grown that one, I'm just leaving it in its little pot. So I would totally recommend putting some paper down if you're going to be doing this on any sort of surface you don't really want to get wet because it is going to get water and maybe some soil on it. Probably if you've got kids you might want to do this outside or somewhere you can hose down a bit because you get soil everywhere. But as you can see I'm just potting up each one trying to keep my desk as clean as possible. It wasn't too bad to clean up, I just wiped it off. But yeah. I really really enjoyed this project and it's kind of like a perfect thing for spring in Australia. It's just coming into spring now. So I hope you guys have a super sunshiny day and you enjoyed this fun little project. Bye!